In this video I'm going to talk about how to set a dashboard rule using a percentage distance of a specific field from another field. So in this example I'm going to take the 20 day SMA and compare it to the closing price. So I've created a box for this. We'll just double click on that. You can call the dashboard rule whatever you'd like. And if we go into the filter assistant form you'll notice that I went into the moving averages technical indicator, the 20 day SMA and I said less than, and then on the right side I chose the closing price, and I gave the percentage of 1%. And you can put whatever percentage you'd like in there, including fractional percentages. So if you wanted to put half a percent, you could put 0.5% in there. And we can just do that. And make sure you put the percent sign, because that's what tells the software to use a percentage distance. Hit save, and hit save on this, and it's going to ask to recalculate. I'm going to say no for now. And that's just the my ratings values getting recalculated. And then if you encounter a record that that is true, you can hover over and see the rule there. And uh, we've got this current price of 975 is the closing price. 972 is the 20 day SMA. So that shows that that rule is met and you can use that in any way that you want. You can actually go back into the filter assistant and you can say greater than if you want a uh, price variance that's outside of the boundaries of 5% or 0.5% or whatever percentage you want to put in there. And you can use equals which probably won't yield too many results for you because that would mean that the value has to be exactly that percentage value away. So the greater than less than are great operators to use with this. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is questions at eyeintheskyscreener.com. Thank you.